Um, my main focus is on drawing. I love drawing the figure and I love drawing the landscape and I love painting the landscape. I love nothing more than going out uh, camping in the bush and setting up my easel or putting, setting up on the ground and painting what's in front of me. So observational drawing and painting is a really important part of what I do. But then I love branching off and abstracting those ideas and trying to, in a way, get to the feeling behind whatever it is that I'm looking at. So embodying the landscape or the figurative work with some kind of emotional content as well, which I think comes through the mark making, so you get a sense of energy or contemplation or, or whatever. And I guess the other strand of what I do is seeing what just comes out when you start painting, like just seeing what develops. And I guess some of my more recent work that does that, where I'm trying to combine the figure with the landscape or a figurative element that you can recognise, a person or an animal, um, against the landscape, but abstracting it. So it's really a beautiful composition with colour and movement and rhythm that is not necessarily naturalistic, but that means something to me and that I'm engaged with and hopefully then means that the viewer is also engaged with. My other life is as a children's book publisher. So that's been my career for almost 30 years now. Uh, but the painting has always been there in the background. And even when I was quite young and at school, I always loved painting and drawing. And I had my children very young, and so then there were a number of years where it was quite difficult to find time to paint. And then uh, about 1994, uh, we moved out to Hillsville and I thought, right, I'm going to go back to basics and I'm going to start painting and drawing again. Working with different artists. So the first artist was Walter Magilton and he had a studio out at Warrandyte. And I went there and I said to Walter, I just want to learn from the very beginning. And he said, right. And he got out cubes and I was drawing the cubes. And then gradually I went to him for about seven years and worked with pastel mainly with Walter. And that helped me a lot. And what I mainly learned from Walter was he had a many different sayings and one of them was change distance, change tone, change direction, change tone. So he was a realist artist, but those basic principles really helped me. And then while I was at Walter, uh, with Walter, he suggested I do more life drawing, bringing it up and using the figure as an expression for abstract marks and capturing movement drawing the moving figure or one or two minute poses and I find that really exciting and that's a almost like doing scales it's like a discipline a practice that I find really energizing and absolutely vital to the way I approach my work it's really just finding out I I think a, a, a couple of big revelations the painting outside I just find so stimulating and relaxing and fun I mean sometimes incredibly frustrating but I do enjoy it a lot. And I guess because I love being in nature, I love looking at the landscape, I love um, seeing, you know, the, these beautiful remote places that you can often only get to by four wheel drive and by camping sort of really, you know, in the bush without any mod cons or anything. <laughs> I love that. So it kind of combines that desire to sort of explore um, the world and then open up your imagination and I guess I want to be more inventive and sort of adventurous than than simply recording what I see even though that observational practice is really important too so it's kind of two approaches observational but then also looking at how the composition's working and another technique I love is collage because develops ideas in a way that's completely different to because I just start ripping things up I rip up whatever I've got and I plonk it on the page and then all of a sudden I'll get an idea and it's just you get a result quite quickly and you can paint on it you can work over it and it just gives you a fresh new image and uh, so if I'm ever feeling stuck collage is the best way of breaking the edge in whatever way you like, but then doing several versions of it. And that's something very exciting that I've been doing more recently.